Howdy guys, this is Tati, and welcome back to more Goodbye Deponia. So we're gonna go in the room. And as you notice, they're gonna uh, hide. Hello? You don't have to hide. It's me, your Rufikins! <laughs> ah, screw you. Ah, speaking of screw, we can take the screwdriver now. And let's go ahead and head outside. So now that we got outside, let's, uh, let us put our cores on. Go back inside. I think now we can use the intercom. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Uh, please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well, that's different then. What's your room number? Ah. Uh. Room nine. Whoa! The demons from the cursed room! Well, the most cursed. Why can't you just leave me alone? I've done everything you demanded. The old married couple, the friendly author, even the young actress, all <laughs> dealt with. All right, oh, that's I pretty funny. didn't put fresh sheets on your beds, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, did I say room nine? Uh, no, of course, I meant... Uh, room three. Room three. Ah, I've finally gotten a hold of you. I've got a number of complaints about you here. Noise disturbance, odor disturbance, regular disturbance, molestation. Oh, no. Wait, those are about me. Whatever. More importantly, <laughs> you still haven't paid for your delivery. Why do you need all those chickens anyway? Uh, did chickens. I say room three? Uh, no, of course, I meant... Let's do room one. Room. Oh, the inspector again. If this is about the bedding, those aren't spots. Just a pattern, which reminds me, do you often sleep with your mouth open? If so, then... Yeah, 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 fine. This isn't about the bedding. Ah, all the better. How can I help you? Uh... Is our laundry done yet? How should I know? I thought it was part of the service. Ah, the service. Yes, I've heard a lot about that, but nothing that has convinced me that it actually exists. I suggest <laughs> you pick up your laundry yourself, instead of relying on some mystic new age pipe dream. Can I do anything else to you? To you. Uh, I would like to order something sinfully expensive sent to my room. Hmm, actually, we don't offer any services in this hotel. But if you want, uh -huh. I can simply tack on a horrendous surcharge to your bill. The item will then appear as an accounting error. Oh, that would be very nice. Oh, uh, no problem. I would have done it anyway. Standard procedure, if you know what I mean. Can I do anything else to you? Uh. I would like to dine now. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you selected something from the menu? You have kept your menu, haven't you? Oh, the, the menu? Yes, you got it here at reception. You are Inspector Cletus, aren't you? Of, of course I'm Inspector Cletus. Who else? Uh, slimy hair, slimy character, uh, has no appetite anymore. Uh, would rather talk about something else. Uh, uh, Cletus, yes, in the flesh. Okay. Oops. Wrong number. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Okay. So, let's switch to Cletus again. We can actually go to the reception now. Oh no! The inspector. Before you say anything, I can explain that business with the trash bag under your bed. Uh, those aren't real human bones, you know. I couldn't care less. I'm here because I need my bag. No problem. Your bag is here. Not that bag. I need the bag that's in my room. So, why are you here in reception? Uh, can you imagine a possible scenario in which I need to lure myself out of my room under some pretext in order to be able to get at my own bag? No. Neither can I. Fine. Then we'll skip the why and get right to the how. How? 
can I lure myself out of my room? <laughs> well, first of all, you'd have to be in your room, right? That's what I would say. Yes, yes, all right. Then I'll go to my room now. Hmm? You should definitely do that. And yeah, perhaps definitely. you should lie down for a bit. Oh, come on. I must apologize. The inspector does not appear to be particularly well today. Ah, uh, that's probably just because of the toxic vapors. Here's a tip. Never buy interior paint behind a chemical waste disposal facility. <laughs> I will remember that. Hmm. So now that we have uh, the screwdriver, we can use it on this. Can we go to the reception without Oppenbot? I better stay undercover. I wanted to get the menu, the food menu. What are you, what are you staring at, Oppenbot? With respect, uh, you look different. Inspector. No. Yes, that's called cell regeneration, a concept which is, of course, unknown to you robots, which may also be the reason you look so unbelievably used up. Hmm. Ah, the inspector. Have you finally managed to lure yourself out of your room? Alas, not. No. Perhaps it's because you are running around out here too much. Yes, yes, all right. Then I'll go to my room now. Hmm? You should definitely do And... Well, how do we get the menu then? So, I guess go back into our clothes and then... We'll use the intercom again. Hello? Always... We're going to say room five. Room five. Time. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? Uh. I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? Well, is that necessary? What's the problem? Well, let's just say there are certain guests in your hotel that I would rather not run into. Oh, I know that problem. Happens to everybody, really. Can't you just recommend something? Sure, sure, I can't recommend something. Ugh. All right. Then just read the menu to me. No, that won't work. I have a very sensitive stomach. Besides, you have to sign a waiver for damage claims before you can even look at our menu. Oh, just forget it. I'll come up as soon as you're alone in reception again. Ah, that would be so nice. Can I do anything else to you? Aw. Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. So, I figured out well, I remember what we have to do. Hello, reception. Always at... What's your room number? So we're, we're going to say room five. five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, that was the wrong. Oops. No. I meant room one. Always. Room one. Room one. Oh, the ins... How can I help you? I would like to speak to my assistant. Yeah, of course. I'll send him down to your room if that's all right. Oh, why don't you? And uh, tell him to sing the Dum Bum song on the way. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank you. At last. Now reception should be free. I just have to make sure I don't run into that Oppenbot. So, what we have to do is go over here this way. Here comes the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum. The Doopy Dim, Doopy Dim, Doopy Dim, Doopy Dim, Doopy Dim. Dum bum. Yes, what is it? You summoned me to your room? No, I did not. But you did. You just called to reception. I would certainly know what I have or have not done. I'm starting to think you're suffering from acute processor overload. But I heard your voice myself. If you aren't <laughs> sure what my voice sounds like, then listen and listen well. Never bother me again without a good reason! Understood? Yes, of course. But... But what? 
Ah, uh, so if you hurry up, we can get to the reception. Ah, the guest from number five. Don't worry, the headaches go away after a few days. What? Uh, no, I I'm here about the menu. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. Most guests are gone because of the menu, you know? And our old cook is even in prison because of the menu. Can I have the menu or not? Lickety shit. You just have to sign <laughs> this waiver form first. Lickety ah, shit. That's a snot rag. Yeah, well, there are just too many possibilities for being harmed by our meals. A form would be way too much work, and our lawyer suffers from depression. So we just copy the guest signature onto the appropriate waiver later. Very economical thinking. And please sign with a W in front. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Woofus? Yeah, the drawer for R is stuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks. Woofus. Here comes the dum bum the dum bum the dum bum the dum bum. Well, folks, I've got to go. Huh. <laughs> Finally. The dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim. Dum bum. Dum bum. So we should have the menu, and now we can uh, we can order our food. Oh well, his food. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room, room one. one. Oh, the inspector again. How can I help you? I would like, I would to, like dine to dine now. now. Have you selected something for the menu? I'll uh, <laughs> have the fish brain stew, please. All right, it's your life. Meal will be served at 12 on the dot. Please be on time. The dining room is guest to cockroaches, and the stew loves to chase those critters around the room. Yes, fine. Uh, please notify me in good time. All right, who am I to deny such a courageous man his last wish? Remember, room one, Cletus. 12 o'clock, Cletus. Fish brain stew, shovel, trash bag, all written down. I'll call you. 12 o'clock, understood. Thank you very much. So if we head to reception. And we can use the screwdriver on the nut. Hey, the art isn't making the guest feel like he's a king. Always nice, always friendly. Later, you can spit on their towels. Or their food, of course. A very enlightening. Speaking of which, I have an order. Whoa, I'll be a platypus's uncle. It's already past noon. Mr. Cletus? Your meal is ready. It's waiting for you in the dining room. What meal? The one you ordered, you joker. Rat meat? Certainly not. Believe no. me, you'll think it tastes heavenly. Of course. Take your time. You see, that's how you do it. Always friendly. Select your phraseology. And when in doubt, lie. When in doubt, lie. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served with fish byproducts. So, we can take Cletus's clothes. And... Wet the duck! Don't tell me you're already finished with your meal. I was very hungry. Yeah, our meals will remedy that very quickly. I bet you can hardly wait to get back to your room. Here's your key. You'll find paper bags under the bed. You gave us the wrong key, dude. And here's the is. Everything to your satisfaction? Yeah, nothing is to my satisfaction. You gave me the wrong key, you clod. Great snot, you're right. 
One moment. I'll fix that right away. Uh, I think I need a taste bud transplant. Did you say something? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> how about a juicy conversation? Before you give me the key, I'd love to hear your opinion on the major societal problems of the day. Uh, once I return, that is. <laughs> Huh? How the heck? Did I manage to choke down your chow? I'd like to know that myself. Come on, give me my room key. I need to rinse out my mouth as quickly as possible. I was just about to do that. But first, I would like to present you with a couple of my theories as promised. What? <laughs> <laughs> quickly now. I have to stop Cletus from getting the right key. So, I think we need to use the screwdriver on here again. Did you know that broccoli was originally a failed military experiment? We use it again. Poltergeists, earthquakes, and cosmic radiation as well. And that doesn't even begin to answer your question. What was it again? Can I have the key for my room. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, I think you got I'm the right key. I'm not feeling myself today. Lucky you. I think I gave him the right key. I think I gave him the the wrong key, I'm guessing. Oh, you're back again. Don't tell me there's another problem. Um, there most certainly is. You gave me the wrong key again. That's impossible. May I see? Uh, of course. Hmm. Here. Well... I'll be a junkie's uncle. It must be because of my medication. I knew it was a mistake changing dealers. And can I have my key now? Just a moment. As soon as the effect dies down, the numbers should be back where they belong. I don't want to make a mistake this time. Shouldn't we perhaps consider changing hotels after all, Inspector? There is something strange going on here. Calm no. yourself, Oppenboss. The only strange thing going on here is your hat. So, we need to change it again. And if we go talk to him again... Plus time shift, minus leap year, 12 up, 6 down. Perfect! The clock is working again. And here is your key. Please check it yourself. Yes, this is what it looks like. Um, and if I ever claim otherwise, you are welcome to thrash me. Uh, really? Oppenbot is my witness. Isn't that right, Oppenbot? Um, why not? I have already witnessed so many strange things today, but... Um, uh, what? Where did he go? <laughs> is everything all right, Inspector? Nothing is all right. You've given me the wrong key again. Really now? <laughs> so, uh, let's go and use the key on... Coitus's door. King of the cat burglars! King of the dog burglars! King of the uh, other member of the animal kingdom burglars! Rufus! And I'll see you next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This is Tachi signing out. Have a good ha! day. The bag! Finally! Now quick, before Cletus comes back.